Hi guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I'm trying to get good lighting because I don't want it to be a glare on my glasses. But um, I wanted to come talk to you about something that's kind of been on my mind that I've been experiencing the last few days and I feel like on this page and with my you know posts I try to port I try to show you the real me the good the bad and the ugly and um lately you know I think that people get the wrong idea that you know oh she wakes up happy every day and she works out and everything's you know easy peasy and it isn't it is yes I get up every day and work out but I'm not happy every day no one is and um I think that you know what some of you guys don't know because a lot of you are new to my page is that you know I wasn't always fit I wasn't always healthy and I wasn't always happy um I may have been on the outside but I was a very negative person years ago and I've talked to a lot of you you know I've talked to you guys shared my journey with you and I will continue to do that because if it helps or speaks to just one person that's all that matters to me um, and most of my journey does focus on the physical but I've also experienced emotional and spiritual change in the last few years when I when I decide to get healthy and that means healthy body and mind I used to be a much more negative person allowing myself to be consumed by it actually and I just I mean it, it it's I think it perpetuated in the workplace that I was in um, in the business I was in but but I'm not blaming anyone or anything um, but the thoughts about it really went the negative thoughts were not just about myself but about people around me and situations and you know instead of trying to do something positive about it I just was would join in the gossip and bash about it and I'm not proud of it at all but that's the truth and I'm human um, you know I jo join in, in the gossip and and just be a part of it as instead of you know not choosing not to um, and I put myself down not just other people you know this was about me too clearly because anyone who puts anyone else down has their own self doubt and insecurities you know I never thought I was pretty um, I was always the overweight person uh, I just was down on myself for much of my life I was smart but not enough to get what I really wanted um, until I changed but so I felt like crap and I was unhappy with how I looked and how I felt and you know my negativity unfortunately didn't stay at the office it came home with me and I would snap at my kids and I would snap at my husband and I was angry all the time and you know what that's bull like I just turned around and looked at it and said this has to stop because they don't deserve that I'm a better person than this. They don't deserve that version of me. And guess what? I don't deserve to feel like that either. You know, I mean, you're only as good to others as you're going to be to yourself, right? So about three years ago, around the time I physically changed, I made huge efforts to turn my negativity into positivity. It may sound corny, but what I was doing clearly wasn't working for me, so I knew I needed to make some changes, and it was definitely worth a shot because I wanted to be happy, and I wanted to have just a happier, fuller fuller life. So I worked really hard to change my attitudes and behaviors, and it actually caused some of my relationships to strain and suffer, but not the relationships that mattered most in the end. Um, those only became stronger. Those of my family and my close friends those relationships came became stronger and it and it opened me up to to being able to form new positive relationships with people um and i realized i became hap as i became happier some people didn't like that the people in my my old life um didn't like that and that's okay i wasn't pushing my new ways on anyone else this was strictly for me so I, I also, along that, about that time, um, well, I had been developing a closer relationship with God. And by that, I mean I became more spiritual, not necessarily more religious. I wasn't raised religiously. Um, and that helps you in so many other ways. Oh my gosh, I could do a whole video on that. But I just feel so much better about that part. So that gets me to, like, now. Lately, I feel like I've been slipping. I feel like I have been feeling um, less than 
and there, there's not a lot of anger there, but there's like a sadness, I guess. And I've been allowing some of that negative self-talk to get to me. Um, I'm not sure why. Nothing specifically happened. I mean, although there have been a lot of changes in my life lately, um, in the past six months, but they're good ones. So, you know, but like any anyone, like any human, I have good days and I have bad days. You know, we all do. And the bad feelings and days and, and the bad negative self-talk in here started to take over. And I was starting to feel like a failure. Um, the only place I didn't feel like a failure was as a mom because I'm more present. So that is a very big plus. But I was feeling like a failure, like I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough at doing the coaching. I'm not helping enough people. Um, I'm not. I'm not getting healthy enough myself. And truthfully, part of it was my lack of dramatic results from the intense workout program I'm doing, the 80 Day Obsession. Um, being part of this amazing coach test group has been unbelievable and I have not lied to you one second I love this workout program it is absolutely my favorite one I've ever done and I've done a lot of beach body workouts but I'm seeing thousands of people with these amazing dramatic before and after results and I wanted to see a change and the change wasn't coming as I thought it would um, I'm definitely stronger and I feel great because I'm eating so much healthier but I'm not seeing the pounds come off, you know, and I know, you know, look, we all have room for improvement and, you know, the things that I wanted to improve weren't happening. So I'm pushing really hard in the workouts. I've changed my way, you know, of eating, not just eating clean, but the time, nutrition, I'm doing everything. And then I put my coach hat on for a minute and I started telling myself the things that I knew that I would tell you if you were my challenger. I am, you know, I started to talk to myself like I would talk to you guys. And so much, and I've done a video on this, so so many times we beat ourselves up. We would never talk to somebody else the way we talk to ourselves, right? Think about it. Um, so I practiced what I talk about and I started telling myself the things that I would tell a challenger or you or your, you know, my sister, my friends, my mom, whatever. So I'm trusting the process and believing that this will work. And I know it will. And, you know, in my intellectual side, I know that this, that I'm doing great. It was those emotions that were taking over. And they can be irrational, you know. Um, absolutely. So I know this will work as I wanted it to. And I already, like I said, I feel stronger and the rest will follow. It will follow. And if it doesn't, it's okay because I know I'm giving it my all, but I know it's going to happen. We have another month left. So no matter what, I'm taking care of my body and my health. And that is of the utmost importance, clearly. Um, so I, I think I, I took a good long look in the mirror and I'm learning to love this body of mine, flaws and all, wrinkly belly, you know, wrinkly skin, all that stuff. I'm just learning to love who I am. And for the first time, I can honestly tell you that I do. I was always trying to cover up, always ashamed, but I'm not. And I just, you know, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because I want you guys to know that I am a work in progress too. I am not finished I may be further in my journey than you, but I started three years ago, you guys. Like this didn't just happen overnight. So take that, you know, for what it's worth. But, you know, we are all on a journey and, and the journey doesn't end when you get to a goal weight either. Um, I'm working to change that now. And hi, Tracy. And now I recognize it. Um, and it's important that you know that every day in my life is not rainbows and sunshine like like maybe you think it appears. That isn't what I'm trying to portray because my positive mindset, when I wake up in the morning, that's how I feel. I'm excited to wake up. I'm excited to do the workout. I'm excited to get on with my day. But it doesn't mean that I don't slip into those bouts of negativity as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Um, so I just want you to know that even though I put on a smile every day, that's for the moment. I don't fake anything. You know, if I wasn't, happy then I wouldn't be able to post that but I guess you know early in the morning you're happy what have you got not to be happy about nothing's happened yet 
uh, and my brain hasn't caught up to tell myself the negative things that I was talking about. But I want you to know that you have the power to change that thinking too. And I want you to know that you can change and you can change your body and your mind. The mind is so important. It really is. Um, I know this because I did it and I can help you do it. Um, again, it's really, it's not just about losing weight. The, it, you know, that's a great byproduct of all of this, but it's about getting healthier here and in the body. So if you could relate to any of this, um, I would love to hear from you. Message me so we can talk. I want to help get you unstuck. I want to help you get out of that rut because you know what? People just say, oh, just walk away from the gossip. Oh, just stop talking to yourself like that. It's not that easy. And I recognize and understand that. But I want to help you with the with the things that helped me. And I can because I, I've come on the other side. And it doesn't mean that the always don't slip back in. But now I'm smarter and I won't let that happen because I won't go back to that person. I won't go back to the 40 pounds heavier person and I won't go back to the more unhappy person and they don't go hand in hand by the way um but for me the change came all at once so I just wanted to share that I have my bad days and I've been having some lately and I wanted you to know that that's the case but there is hope if you feel like this or you relate to this in any way I'd love to hear from you okay so I am going to get on with my my day. I got to start dinner soon. And um, what are you having for dinner? I hope that you found some value in this message. I just felt compelled to want to share it with you because I want to be as real as I can with you every day. And this is what's on my mind. And this is how I've been feeling. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.